Hey, everybody. All right. I guess it's working. I thought I was going to have to turn it. So hopefully it's working, and hopefully you're seeing this. And hopefully uh, you're welcoming Kimono into your house. Uh, my name is Jason Von Stein. Uh, I play my father. His name is Jim Von Stein. Uh, I play his songs. Uh, I'd like to say it's a true honor to be a part of the show. Uh, Lars is an awesome uh, person. Uh, I'm really happy to be his friend. I'm happy to uh, be friends with a guy named Lars. I feel like I completed a life uh, achievement point on that one. So that's pretty awesome. So Lars, I hope you're doing well. Tom, I hope you're doing well as well. Hope everybody's doing well. So Mike, good to see you. Mike and Ann, that's cool. Mike and Ann actually uh, know us from way back. They knew back me. Uh, way, uh, they knew me way back when I was a kid, and my dad was writing songs about me. Um, uh, I played my father's songs. His name is uh, Jim Von Stein, and it's a true honor to share his music, allowing me to be you know, part of your home. And, uh, let me. Uh, uh, do this. Okay, so uh, the first song I'm going to play for you is called Please Say, and uh, I wrote this song with my dad. This is a melody when I first started playing guitar that I was practicing around with, and uh, my dad's a songwriter. He's been writing all of his life. He's uh, written thousands and thousands of songs, and I asked him if he could uh, write some uh, lyrics uh, for this melody that I practiced around with, uh, and he did, and uh, together this is uh, called Please Say.
Next song I'm gonna play for you. My dad writes a lot of songs about everything, uh, a lot of poignant songs, and it breaks me up a little bit sometimes, you know, because it makes you feel human. I think that's what music is supposed to do: is make you feel human, maybe quicker than any other form of entertainment. We had a shooting in Atlanta, and we had a shooting, or yesterday, or what yesterday, two days ago, and. Uh, in Boulder, Colorado. And we have a lot of shootings all the time. It's just, I don't get it. You know? I mean, I was angsty too, but I picked up a guitar, not a gun, you know? So, and it just keeps happening and it keeps happening. My dad wrote this song, uh, it's called Handle the Gun. He wrote this August 30th, 2011, to try to raise awareness to uh, the gun problem we have in our country. And uh, it's still as true today as when he wrote it. So, it's called Handle the Gun. Uh, if you play music, uh, I usually leave uh, lead breaks uh, for all the music I hear in my head. So pick up a guitar and uh, jam along. Let's go to handle the gun.
so many beautiful things in this world and we have more ways to connect with each other than we've ever had ever before and we still find ways to bring hatred and we have to stop it's on us to do that each of us love each other while you got time to do it it's, it's as simple as that uh, I love you very much dad thank you for giving uh, all these beautiful songs life and helping all of us this next song I'll play for you. Uh, it's probably my dad's favorite song he's written, I'd say. More importantly, he would say that, I think. So, this is called uh, Honky Tonk Highway. It's kind of country. So. It's a honky-tonk night The neon is falling I'll be crying all night When I start the calling I'll be searching for you While the jukebox is playing Know the memory of you that I'll be replaying Waitress, bring me a drink I don't really care As long as I think This hope doesn't hurt much There's been nothing but rain I've not seen the sun much so please ease my pain With a smile and a soft touch A heart on my way
test tomorrow, so I uh, hope I can come spend Easter with you guys. So, love you so much. Uh, in promoting uh, our show uh, tonight, uh, Tom and Lars have done an incredible job promoting it. Uh, they do an amazing job every week, and they have incredible musicians every week. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, seeing everything that they did, all the cool photos, seeing Paul McCartney hanging out with uh, fun people. One of the photos they showed was a, kind of a mysterious looking guy. So, I have to play this song. It's called Streets of Chicago. This one's from uh, 1988, I want to say. And uh, a few years back, uh, my dad has emphysema and COPD. And they make it to where he can't play music anymore. He still gets to write. Uh, but it's tough. He's written all these songs. I can't play guitar anymore. Uh, so I started a Kickstarter for him. I wanted to make a music video for him. Uh, so what I did is he's written thousands of songs. So uh, in 2017, I started a Kickstarter where I picked 30 of his songs. And uh, I came up with uh, ideas for music videos for each one with some friends, and the whole goal was I needed to get a thousand dollars to get a budget together to make a music video for him, for one of the songs. And it worked out that Streets of Chicago was the one that got picked. Uh, and I'm really happy to say that on Christmas of 2017, uh, love more than anything else is uh, the driving force that made that music video happen. So if you like, I'm going to play the uh, at-home acoustic version for you, but uh, if you like this, uh, uh, I have a YouTube page called Jackass of All Trades, and if you want to go on Jackass of All Trades, uh, you can check out Streets of Chicago. Uh, you can also find it on jackassofalltrades.net, so you can try to be the jackass of all trades, why not? So, so this will be my next trade to jackass up. This is called Streets of Chicago. I can hear people talking I 
Terminator in the music video a little bit, but I love that movie, so, you know. So there you go. All right, next one we'll play for you. Um, let's see, we're going to play a song called Little Bit of Me. Uh, so my dad wrote this song about me. This is actually why uh, on YouTube I go by Jackass of All Trades. It's because, uh, so I was playing Mario Brothers when I was five. And my dad was trying to write a song, and I kept bothering him while he was uh, uh, writing a song because I couldn't beat uh, Koopa. Uh, I got to the point where he's throwing fireballs at you, and my little brain couldn't understand that I got to duck underneath the fireball in order to get past the guy, you know? So I kept bothering my dad, and I was like, uh, hey, I need you to help me with this. He's writing a song, and finally I, I bothered him one too many times, and he said, I got a boy, and he's five years old, and he don't listen to what he's told. And then he stopped, and a light bulb went off over his head, and then 20 minutes later he uh, wrote this song for me. And it's called A Little Bit of Me. Playground goal, so 
was Couldn't believe what my own eyes The boy I hypnotized I guess got a little bit of me At the moment he's an awesome side Starting to dance from left to right Got the class and the touch of style But do care for a real long while I guess got a little bit of me Five years old, he didn't listen to what he's told. He's stubborn as Jack as you. Things I would get to do. I guess got a little bit of me. I guess got a little bit of me. I guess got a little bit of me. A little bit of me. So my dad uh, wrote that song, and I was five. And he came out and he played it for me. And I immediately cried because he called me a jackass. And then, <laughs> it didn't scar me forever. Now I go by it. So, but that's, that's the way it goes sometimes, right? He thought he did me a great favor. <laughs> it turns out he did do me a great favor. So, love you, Dad. All right, this next song I'll play for you is called Brown Jug. And uh, it's also in G. She might be the saddest chord of all the chords, right? I don't know. But, so yeah, get your uh, get your tissues ready on this one. It's called Brown Jug. Brown 
Country music kind of song. Uh, it's about uh, breaking up, uh, like a lot of country music songs. But it's kind of a fun uh, breakup country music song, I would say. It's more of a rocker. 
It's called uh, a Dixie cup full of teardrops. up songs that are, you know, fun jamming and, you know, things like that, things that are the uh, unusual. This next song is a, 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 a sad song, but of the usual uh, country uh, mold. I think it's kind of my dad's uh, Patsy Cline style song. It's called Miss You in the Morning. Just when I'm over you, someone speaks your name. And just when I think I'm through all the heartache and the pain. But now I realize you're on me all my life. They say the biggest cuts come from the smallest lies. I shall miss you in the morning How I miss your lovely smile If I had my way you'd be right here right now But I hope you're happy now I drink in all the bars that we used to go but tell me, darling, the things I want to know Did I drive you on your way? Did you love me once at all? Should I blame myself this time when the tears begin to fall? I shall miss you in the morning How I miss 
Cause your love is my hope If I had my way It'd be right here right now But I hope you're happy now I shall miss you in the morning How I miss your love is my hope If I had my way Yes, I hope you're happy now. It's called Mission in the Morning. It's a really good one, Dave. This next song I'll play for you is called Mama, I Love You. Mama, I do love you. She's listening. And my uh, dad wrote this one about my grandmother. And now I play for all mothers. It's called Mom, I Love You. December 16th, 2007, and it's called Blood Spilled on the Foreign Land, and uh, he wrote this song because uh, of the, the atrocities in the Sudan that uh, continue to keep happening, and uh, he wanted to raise awareness to that, so he wrote this song, and I thought uh, that was a pretty cool song, uh, I think it's got a good story, and I think it's a pretty cool jam, it's called Blood Spilled on the Foreign Land. There's 
jams going here. I hope that's okay. My dad's written a lot of songs, so <laughs> we're not even going to scratch the surface, to be honest with you. But, you know, we'll do what we can, so hopefully you guys are digging uh, what you're hearing. It's really awesome to be here. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, uh, Lars. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of uh, uh, the show. It's cool. Nice. Very cool. Uh, this next song I'll play for you is a gospel song my dad wrote. It's called uh, There's a Train. And uh, yeah, I think I just, I just really like it. It's a fun song.
out loud. There's a train going to heaven, all the good but on. Takes you from the pain you felt and brings your soul back home. When that train leaves tomorrow, I know I'll ride along. Mom and dad will walk with me while angels sing along. There's a train going to heaven, all the good but on. Takes you from the pain. That sounded like a train, otherwise the last 20 years of my life have been uh, probably not going in the right direction. <laughs> I can't pull up the train if I... Let me know in the comments with your silence. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one more for you. Uh, I hope to be a part of the show again in the future, if you guys are cool with it. I really enjoy playing my dad's music, uh, so it's really awesome to share it. Uh, it's really awesome to share it with everybody here. You guys are all awesome. Uh, it's the last song I'll play for you. Um, uh, I'm going to play a song, if I can find it. I, let's see here. Yeah, hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is my mother's favorite song that my dad's written. Uh, it's called Holding On To Memory. So i got to play this one for you. This one goes out to you, Mom. It's called Holding On To Memories. Some memories of the fun times we had tonight. So. Yeah. 
like a bell in the night you always so hold to me. When it's gold and it's late at night, I hold on for a bad flight, holding on to memories, holding on to memories, holding on to memories that have to be. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting me uh, be a part of the, your family. Thank you. <laughs>